Hello there, and welcome to this uh, five-minute video on iTunes Extras and how to get that video content that you get from iTunes Extras onto your iPods, your iPads, and Apple TV uh, current generations. As many of you know, iTunes Extras are really only for iTunes and the original Apple TV. So here I have, uh, here's I'm going to show you how to do this, how to get that video content onto those devices. So what you're going to do is simply first start off by copying an existing iTunes extra file. These are found in your iTunes library area. So I'm going to do this for Prometheus. And I'm also going to do this for uh, Blade Runner. Both have great iTunes extras. I'm speeding this copy up. And uh, after this is all done, the basic uh, concept is to turn, uh, uh, basically rename that new copy as a zip file. Not the ITE, but a zip. And say use zip, then I'll create that into a folder. Now you're actually able to open up this folder and it shows you everything inside of an iTunes Extra. The one you're going to want to look for is entitled Videos. This has every video contained in this iTunes Extra. Uh, these videos are DRM, so you will need to use QuickTime on the Mac or iTunes on the Mac to play these back. Or what you can also do is actually sync these files to an iPod, iPad, or whatever device you need to that's created by Apple. So I'm now adding these to my iTunes library. And what I'm going to do now is rename these to appropriate titles and add the genre iTunes extras. So the cool thing here is these all sync over great to whatever Apple device you have. Uh, one thing to note is that there is, in fact, SD and HD versions of iTunes extras. So when you download your original content, have that be known that you, when you select to download a file as SD, it'll be SD. If it's HD, it's HD. So some files may not work on some devices. Uh, so here I'm just showing you uh, that uh, it does create a separate movie file when you do this. And then I'm also uh, going into the Blade Runner and uh, showing you that, yes, in fact, when you do this for Blade Runner, to create that as zip, that as well has a nice selection of video files that you can then add to your your iTunes collection. So uh, so that is a simulation. When you're downloading your files, uh, it will not work on all devices if it's HD content. Uh, Apple actually smartly gives you options to download either or, but it's not the most intuitive things at all times. So these are all SD videos that I downloaded as an SD iTunes extra. This is done in the uh, preferences as you would for downloading the regular movies. Uh, so I'm now uh, retitling all these, adding album artwork, and all those things, and uh, the process is almost done. The next step is simply to add these to a playlist and then sync these to my iPod Nano, which they're then playable. So Prometheus uh, is a great example of this because you have a full-out feature-length film with director's commentary. And the way they did it was they actually gave you a whole new download for that commentary with just a commentary track on it. That's how they did it. So here I've got uh, that full-length movie that I'm now able to enjoy with the commentary on my other devices. So I'm not going to sync the deleted scenes in that commentary version of the movie to my iPod Nano. And uh, once again, this is a bit of a complicated process, but uh, as far as getting it all set up and having all these extra files and iTunes, but if you really want these files there, this is the only way to really get these on your devices. And uh, I'm glad I was able to find this loophole because it was a, it's a frustration that iTunes extras, you need an original Apple TV or you need the, uh, the iTunes on Mac or Windows. And that is not the case if you just want the video content. So here I've enabled Prometheus Extras, that new playlist, and that is now going to sync over, as it's doing right now, all of those extras that are just made to this iPod Nano, fifth generation. So anything that can play video from Apple can really work with this. And I'm gonna show you in just a second what that looks like. So here's the iPod Nano. I'm just gonna load up the videos uh, interface here. And uh, here is uh, the video playlist at the bottom there for uh, the Prometheus extras. I'm gonna load that up. You can see all these with the duration. Here's the commentary of the movie. It's gonna load up and start playing uh, Prometheus, and there we go. That is the version with the commentary playing perfectly fine on my iPod Nano. And here we are. Uh, now we're back at the main menu with all these other iTunes extras. You can see the deleted scenes, 
And once again, here is a deleted scene from the iTunes Extra selection in Prometheus playing on the Nano. And this will work on any Apple device that can play video. So uh, here you go. I hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial on how to get iTunes Extra content on your iOS devices and your iPods. This has been a frustration of mine. I'm glad I found a solution. Uh, stay tuned for future uh, videos like these. And thanks again for watching.